Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Lewis Art. In this video, I will be showing you how to use Pupa and Mixamo. If you're not familiar with what, what Pupa is, Pupa is basically an animation tool which I created for Blender. It basically allows you to apply animation. Uh, more, the best way I can describe it is most, uh, Mixamo on steroid. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, we want to import a Mixamo into Blender and just use it right off the back. And here we have a rig character, so we can just go ahead and download this. So we want to download this with its original pose, FBX, so we're good there, and we click on download. So here in Blender, I will just delete this, and let's import that one which we created. Um, so this is our rigged version. I need to play with the scale a bit. Uh, so set this to 1. Okay, um, so this is our rig now, and it should be working how it did in Mixamo. So let's apply animation, and <laughs> you might ask, why not just apply animation in Mixamo? Um, that's like I said, Popeye is Mixamo on steroid. Um, we can go ahead and just test out an animation, and uh, with our rig target, we have lots of preset that comes in with Popeye by default. And you can easily set up yours with our retargeter. Um, so let's select Mixamo version 1. And let's just apply an animation. There you go. So you can easily apply animation. And here you have lots of possibilities basically. Um, you can adjust the pose to match what you want. You can play with several things. Um, you could play with the speed of the animation, you could repeat the animation, um, you can reverse it, you can make it stay in place. Just a lot of cool things that come to Pupa that you, um, basically you have to set up a lot with Mixamo. Let's say you want to use a particular animation in Mixamo, how would you do that? Okay, let's just do this. So he's running, and there's no real reason for us to kind of play with this, but... We'll just go ahead and download it so for downloading you can ch choose your frame per second importantly for the skin you want to set it to without skin um, that's because we don't want to import the mesh you just need the rig so if you're ever looking to do that that's how you do it you choose to reduce your keyframe um, so once you're done you can just click download okay so we have the animation here and so let's import it so you can go ahead and import that so before I go, I wanted to explain um, this. For, for most presets, you will see version 1 and version 2. And what that means is, um, most of us might not be familiar, but there are two different <laughs> versions of Mixama, which is something I had to learn the hard way. Um, and for some reason, it works certain way for some computers and certain way for, I don't know how that has been distributed. Um, but this kind of takes that into account. So if one preset is not working for you well, you can always choose the next preset so i've learned that the mixamo i download on my computer the second version of the preset will work well for it so i will go ahead and import that so we have the running and here we go and i can still use everything i can tell it to stay in place and it stays in place uh, one cool feature which comes in handy is like you can choose certain part of the rig which you want to animate manually or have do something and just tell it um, to stay like that. <laughs> and then you have this wonky looking stuff. So let's just do one hand. So it's a lot of fun to play with. And let's say you want the character to be carrying something. Probably need to disable the shoulder too. Okay, so that looks much better. And we can reduce the speed to 0.7 or 0.9. Yeah, so that's it. I hope this was informative and fun. Um, bye bye for now. See you next time.